Hey guys, today we're gonna to be working on some thrift flips, items that I picked up at the thrift store. I'm gonna keep it simple, just using a couple colors and some paper clay, and show you how to take this trash and turn it into treasure. The products I'm using today are DIY Skeleton Key, Cottage Colors in White Linen, Clear Wax, three different Klingon brushes, a JRB stencil brush for waxing, air dry clay, and the IOD Olive Crest Mold, along with some glue to put the mold on. The items I'm making over cost anywhere from $2 all the way up to $7 for this item. And this big mamma jamma in the back was $15. First things first, I'm gonna get my molds going for my bucket. This is the Olive Crest Mold. I'm using IOD air dry clay, and I'm just going to push this down into the mold. I've, all, I've already dusted it with cornstarch, so that way my mold won't stick. And I did forget to mention, I am going to be putting a number in this little plaque here that I'm making, and that is from the IOD letterpress stamp set. Just keeping this simple. Once you get it all on there, just flip it over, use the back, peel it up, and your mold is done. To add the number, which I picked the number three, I'm just going to put this down into the clay in the middle. Make the impression and pull it out. So now I've got the number three in there and I'm ready to glue it on. You wanna make sure you have glue even all over so you don't have any empty hollow spots. You'll get best adhesion. Flip it over, oh, it's upside down. Spin it around the right way. I will wash that glue off before I paint it. Ta-da! Next up, I'm gonna get everything painted with Skeleton Key. I might add a little bit of salt wash on this one to fix some of the texture issues, and then we'll be ready for the next step. I decided to paint the inside of this white. It would be much easier to do it a single tone, but you know, I like to torch myself. I'm gonna use DIY's white linen and the cottage colors, the Jamie Ray vintage paint, because it has a built-in sealer. So the good news is, even though I don't like to paint the inside of things, once I get the coverage, which will take a couple coats, I won't have to seal it. Time for a second coat on everything, making sure that none of the original color is peeking through in ways that I don't want it to. Some areas I'm not as worried, like right here, because I'm gonna distress that anyways. Now that this is dry, I'm gonna take a damp rag and get the whole piece wet, and then I'm gonna wet distress and bring back the detail. I'm gonna do that on like three or four of these pieces and then some of them will get sanded and I'll show you how I do that. But you can see right there how when you wet distress, it takes back the top paint and leaves the base color below and it looks really good. back with DIY's white linen and a brush that I've got most of the paint off. And I'm just gonna highlight the tops and give it a good dry brush. Same technique, and I'm gonna hit all the top spots on this 
and give it a little light dry brush to bring out the detail. Alright, so the last step is going to be clear waxing everything. I have my clear wax and my stencil brush. I like to use the one and a quarter on pieces like this. I'm going to get it done and we'll be all finished. The last part is just going to be wiping off all the excess wax. I'll let it sit for a day and then I'll buff it all smooth. I did wind up taking this tiered tray apart and made my life a lot easier when waxing it. All my projects are complete. You might see a few projects that you didn't see me paint today. I finished them off camera. They're just from my Saturday night thrift haul and I wanted to show you everything that I painted this afternoon. If you'd like to purchase the paint and products that you saw me use today, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.